How do you feel about being the oldest member in St. Mark's? <laughs> That's I just feel old. <laughs> <laughs> just had good people coming all the time. Seeing a homeless guy come up for communion for the first time, come to the communion rail, after he sat back there in the back for Sunday after Sunday, to see him come out and then to see him kneeling here next to one of the richest people in Brevard County. And those two are side by side. One's hands are clean and the others are dirty and filthy. And yet, you know, to God, hands are hands and empty, empty stomachs are empty stomachs. St. Mark's has been remarkable in the last few years in embracing people of all colors, creeds, descriptions. There is a, uh, a long history. I believe we were the first church in, uh, in the city of Coco. One of the things that St. Mark's has here is its presence over 140 years is the leadership that has come out of here in terms of the community. There's a lot that's centered right here uh, in St. Mark's because we're, we're actually ground zero in downtown Coco for people uh, that are homeless. In our ministry, we get across the fact to people that they have a, a absolute worth. They're, they're very much loved, even though they might not love themselves so very much. Uh, it's a difficult thing. We're, we're fragile human beings. I love St. Mark's. I love people. And, and I especially love certain people because they, they, they love me. You know, they, they're, they're actually they're friends. More friends than I, I would ever expect. They embrace everyone. We all feel welcome. When my husband was still alive, uh, we took a trip here to Coco just to look for maybe a place to retire. And we drove along the river road and ended up at this church. Um, didn't get to come in, it was locked. But I loved it and I told him I wish we could have seen inside. And so when I moved here, I decided to come here to church. And I joined the choir, and then eventually I'm doing what I'm doing now. I have always felt the safest most emotional. So many parts of my life have been centered around the church. Um, just from the time I was a child. I was in choirs always, played the organ, played the piano. Um, it's just part of me. I would like to uh, say uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for the call to this church, uh, the opportunity to serve. Uh, my wife and myself uh, put in uh, 18 years here, and uh, they were 18, sometimes difficult, but, but wonderful years. The pews are oiled with the prayers of people who have sat here over the generations, and it is a, gives me a sense of home and comfort and uh, well-being when I am here. Let's go for the next 140.
it is a special place. St. Mark's is a very special place to all of us. It's a wonderful church and has been, and I hope it will continue to be.